What's going on, people? What's going on? Welcome to the channel. Once again, I am truly humbled that you joined uh, this segment today. You clicked on that like and shared uh, button from the get-go, so I appreciate that. Um, so, but yeah, I'm jumping on here because we got some exciting, exciting news uh, that I would like to bring to you guys. Once again, I'll, let me introduce myself. My name is Luther. And again, thank you for uh, joining the channel and um, pretty much seeing what I've got to offer. So today, right now, breaking news, it looks like Ten Hag may have his first signing lined up. And that signing is, before we get to that, let's wait. So other news, um, the uh, Altani, uh, the Sheikh from Qatar, it looks like he's uh, going to make another improved bid. This is the rumors that uh, they were servicing yesterday. It looks like he's going to put in something ballpark of like $6 billion um, because he, the gentleman looks like he does not like to lose. So I'm hoping uh, the zero hour he will come in there, drop the money, and get the team. That way we can you know, make sure that Ten Hag has enough funds to go into the transfer market which is due to open June I think the beginning of June okay now uh, without with all this uh, takeover thing that's going on uh, the saga basically is delaying Ten Hag to jump into action to start his recruiting process because what happens is because he's not sure how much funds he's going to have other teams like the Chelsea's, Man City's, you know, they're, they got their sorted out, you know, so they're getting the players they want, they're lining up everything, that way they're good to go, um, getting ready for the next season. So in order for us to be ready for success coming next season, we need to get this uh, takeover thing uh, sorted out ASAP. So I hope it's Altani, but I'll take Ratcliffe as well. So that's um, you know basically about the uh, the whole takeover, and another rumor that was going on today is, as you all know, last season Ten Hag was really adamant on getting Rabio, this this uh, past uh, transfer window, which was in January. He wanted Rabio, but uh, with Rabio, he's a good midfielder. To me, he's not really the best, but Ten Hag knows the players that he wants. So if he thinks Rob Beal can do the job, and that's why, you know, we have to support the manager. So it looks like he's going to go back for Rob Beal again, because now he's um, a free agent at the end of this season. Um, so if we get Rob Beal, well and good, it's free agent. The only thing is we have to deal with his mom, who's the agent. Uh, and they always have a ton of demands. And apparently dealing with the mom, you know, it's been a pain in the past. Other, uh, you know, uh, folks have been talking about the whole, whenever you get Rabio, you, it's a total package. You'll be dealing with his mom. So I, yeah, I guess it's fair. You know, moms always want the best for their kids. So, hey, shout out to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Belated. I know it was yesterday. Hope you all enjoyed and we appreciate you everything that you do for us now to the main news I jumped on here real quick to tell you that the word in the street is United are in final stages of signing Kim Min Jae a central defender from Napoli this guy's good man he is really good we really need him um, hopefully we'll get rid of Harry Maguire and then he's top-notch replacement for him and the thing is you we want to sign players that can compete with the players that are starting right our starting center defender uh, partnership is Varan and Martinez if one goes down we need to have someone up ready to go right same thing with all the positions Bruno um, all the starters like Rashi we need some people who can compete with them that way they're always performing at the top level. Something that we see in Man City. Yesterday Man City played, they 
rested De Bruyne, they rested, uh, I think, um, Grealish, and they still won. And that's what we want to get to. All right. Hopefully, the takeover happens. Our tiny comes on board, drops a ton of cash, and then you know what? The rest will be history. All right. That's all I got for you guys, man. I appreciate you again for liking and subscribing to this channel. As news breaks, I will jump on here and give you my two cents. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Peace out. Have a nice day.